What's up, my beautiful dreamers, and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. In this video right here, I picked up something that I think all dry girls are looking into a little closer with a little, you know, with a little, well, why is this eye? With a little closer eye. And that is these, these primer oils that's going around. Now, don't get me wrong. They're not new, but pretty much they, they, hit, the, they hit Instagram pretty hard. In 2017 you know the ones you got the girls with the drips all over their face which is way too much product I don't know why they wasting all that product but you know cuz we ain't gonna be wasting nothing up in here however each his own I was in Ulta just a scrolling around and I did run into NYX and NYX did come out with uh, with one I think LA girls came out with one there's a plenty out there Smashbox has a um has one but Smashbox I think it's like $42 but like $42? Like that must be amazing. I'm gonna try it one day. I don't know. I'm I'm still a little. However, NYX came out with one. This is a Hydra Touch Touch Dehydration. And it says formulated with skin loving ingredients like jojoba and almond oil, which are really good for the skin. This lightweight primer glides on like a dream for a smooth looking canvas and beautiful coverage so this is what we're going to be trying out today this comes this was $13.99 um and it comes in a 0.67 fluent ounce bottle and this is what she looks like right here really nice packaging have no glass bottle and this is what it looks like what I like about it I love the packaging the packaging I love you know the glass I'm here for it very um the packaging is identical to the Smashbox primer, it's just the Smashbox primer is bigger. I think that's a 1.0 fluent ounce, and this is 0.67. That's the only difference. Well, that's not the only difference. It was $13.99, and that one is $42. Get your life together, okay? You know how great you got to be for $42? Okay, okay. The packaging is really cute. You open it, and the pop, the top comes up. And as you take it out, the oil is already in the dispenser and you just press down and the oil is dispensed. So, in this video, I will be testing this one out as a dry girl myself. I'm always looking to add more moisture and hydration to my skin. Right now, I have to say I am a normal to dry skin, a little bit more on the dry skin side. So I do go in with a little heavier moisturizer, really f making sure that I tone my skin and doing all the necessary steps to make sure my skin stays as hydrated and moisturized as feasibly possible right now. Cause it ain't cold outside. It's called outside. So I noticed you guys, there's so many um, dry skin ladies out there that probably will want to adapt this into our skincare regimen over the winter and it is my job it is my duty to let you know if this is worth your money or not so i'm going to put this bad boy to the test and i'm going to apply it and i'm going to wear it for a few hours and i'm going to come back and let you know my thoughts but before we do that i i, I have to know did you do what you were supposed to do? Did you hit that subscribe button? Guys, please be sure to subscribe right now if you haven't done so already. Gotta take care of a little bit of business before we get into a little bit of fun. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to click that notification key, which is that little bell next to it, just so you are you are a part of the notification squad and you know the next time I upload videos. You're never missing out on a video. You guys don't want to miss out on videos because you just don't. Just trust me on this. Did you subscribe? Let me see. Okay. I saw, I saw you do it. Good job. All right, let's go to the video right now. <laughs> you gotta move fast. Oh, stop it. Okay, so let me just rub this in. And I'll probably use too much. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee you I just use too much. I'm going to let that soak into my skin for at least two minutes, and I'll be right back. So my face is completely done, and... um. So I have to say one out of 10, my face, as far as hydration that was added from this is maybe around like a six. Like I don't feel like it, it feels overly moisturized, but it definitely doesn't feel dry. This is not going to fill pores. This is not going to refine lines. This is not gonna do any of that. So it's not gonna do any blurring. This is just a primer oil to give you extra hydration that you can apply as a primer. 
Okay, so that's important to keep in mind here. Do not pick this up and think you're going to get a flawless finish, which is the reason why I use the Pro Filter primer on this side as well because I knew that that other primer should have given me a smoother look, refine my pores some, and just give me more of a filtered look than this side. Like I said, I do feel like my face has been added. Some hydration has been added to it, but... Not enough to where I would say this is a must-have. What I would say is that if you are an avid um, oil applicator, you like to add extra oils to your face, you're not going to be mad at this. It actually smells really good, though. I feel like the foundation did blend out pretty decently on top of it so it didn't necessarily move the foundation it didn't hinder the foundation especially once i let it soak into my skin but i don't feel like i would use this by itself i would probably i probably would use this more to be honest with you on days that i'm not going to be applying makeup like if I'm just going to add my moisturizer and I'm going out and that's one extra little layer of hydration, I would totally go on with this. And you, when I say you only need like two drops and just use it for your entire face. Because, and I'm not talking about the full dispenser. I'm talking about like two drops. And that's it because a little really does go a long way. Also, another time I would use this is if I was going to be applying my full makeup and going to be outside, out the house for an extended amount of time does that make sense just to make sure that i gave my skin a little bit more of that hydration but not necessarily if i'm going to an event and it's only going to be for a little while and i wanted that flawless finish this is not the primer i would run to is what i'm trying to say not that i wouldn't use it just to add hydration but it's not necessarily like i can get rid of the rest of my primers and use this no not at all I guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't done so already rate comment and subscribe and definitely be sure to click that ding -a -ling, -a ling so that you never miss another video with your girl shalinda one i love you guys so much be sure to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at shalinda one and i will see you guys in the very next video remember you are bold you are beautiful darling most importantly, you're blessed and don't let anything or anyone tell you anything differently. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.